An open letter to Alice. Dear Alice, I finally decided to write to you. I mean, I've been meaning to do it for a, so long, but I have so much to discuss with you. Do not think for a second that I, I'm not watching you. I can see you right now, lying in bed at Rutledge, staring into space, blood r dripping from your wrist, where you slash them. All the while you remember that, that fateful night, well so do I. I can see into your thoughts, I can see into your deepest chasm of your soul. I know what you fear, to admit you to yourself, I know what you don't want to know. I know everything that, that goes through your mind. All day you reminisce about the furious fire that swallowed your family whole. All day you remember running through the fiery hallways, calling out, calling for your family, knowing, hoping for their survival when you know they would die. You stare at the ceiling all night long, seldom sleeping, just wondering if all this could be re prevented. It could have. Just picture this. You could have warned your parents of the dangers. You could have warned, fled the house with them. All three of you could have survived. Happy that at least you survived when your house went into flames. Alas, this never happened. Because you, you, would rather stay in your happy fantasy world than warn your family of the ghastly inferno. You would rather spend time with that silly Hatter and his impossible riddles than stop your wretched feline knocking over that lantern. You could have avoided this horrific asylum. You could be in a nice warm house right now with your mum and dad sharing good times. You could be sleeping in a nice warm bed with your night, your sweet little bunny. Or you could be sitting next to a warm fireplace. You could have spent your days listening to the charming sounds of the outside rather than the demented screams of the insane. But this can never be. Your parents are gone. Alice, and Al you are the killer. All day you spend in the asylum, feeling sorry for yourself, blaming everyone, feeling sorry for yourself, but bl blaming everyone but yourself for the situation. You expect everyone to pity you, to feel sorry for you, for poor old Alice, who lost her fa dear mummy and daddy. At a nasty house fire, I feel no pity for you. I laugh at you. <laughs> Your pains are all laughable. You expect everyone to feel sorry for you because of something that was your fault to start with. Ha! But don't you think that death was your own, the only sin you are guilty of? No. The, the little incident, incident in which you are the culprit was drains the wonders out of, your, of Wonderland. If only you could have see the new nightmare. That happy little land has begun. The lush green fields. And the bright rays of, of Mr. Sunshine have all been eradicated. The citizens of Wonderland spend their days in darkness. Trying to fight the rule of the queen, although they are too weak to do anything. The citizens are dying like oyster babies because of the change, because of the queen. Because of you. You've poisoned the land. You have transformed our pre beautiful, precious world into a horrific hellhole. Be you're to blame. 
do? You! The Queen of Hearts has taken over. More angry and more powerful than before. I have seen many fall to her hands or at least suffer a fate worse than death. Have you seen what happened to the nice cheap chap the Marsh Hare? How about the innocent Mo Dormouse? They're all suffering. They're all in excruciating pain and anguish. And guess who's to blame? Even your best friends have turned against you. All because they know it's all your fault. That pleasant hunter has now switched sides and is now is working to prolong the destructions of our great land. And those Tweedled Twins are supporting his cause. And the Duchess? She's just berserk. They do these sayings for hatred, revenge against you. They don't care about what you're going through right at all. All they wish is to destroy you. Because of what you've done to them. You made them suffer. And they want you to suffer. Your Wonderland is dead. You killed that. And now that's out of the way. I would like to invite you to visit me. We'll have a discussion about what you're going through right now. You can see me at the crumbling house in the, in the land of fire and brimstone. I'm looking forward to your visit. Until then, I bid you goodbye. Your friend, the Jabberwocky. <laughs> ha